So Andy and I got together <clears throat> about an hour and a half before the game tonight, and uh, we prayed a little bit, talked about Rod, talked about Paula, uh, talked about the legacy that he left. I complimented Andy on the job that he's done that Rod had him prepared for. We both miss him. We all miss him. We know he's in a better place. And, uh, you know, we we talked about this, uh, you know, this was going to be a, a time when we just we're going to uh, celebrate him, remember him, you know. And uh, I know you guys all miss him too. Um, this was one of the most challenging scouts for an opening game uh, that I've had in a long time. Um, you know, the, the five seniors all playing new roles. And with the eight newcomers, I thought about this today. Devin Cambridge didn't come till August. Neither did Stretch. Tyrell Jones had a, came in with a broken leg. He wasn't ready to go till late August. And uh, Javon Franklin still is recovering. So four of our eight newcomers have only been there for a couple of months, and it shows. Um, you know, it, and it just shows. Um, that's why the veterans were leaned upon. Um, you could see what Isaac can do. You can see what Devin, you know, can do. Um, my plan was to rotate Tyrell in there at point guard, but he came in and struggled a little bit early and just um, just felt like I needed to um, I'll come back with him against Davidson, but he's got to be able to come out there and perform. And uh, so he's got to stay. We just got to keep growing. Just got to keep learning. That's it. This team's going to get better fast, hopefully fast, but they're going to get better. So, Georgia Southern's going to have a good year. They will, South, South Alabama, Georgia Southern, got real shots to win the Sun Belt. So, uh, Davidson on Friday, just real quickly, I don't know how many 20 win seasons that they've had. Uh, Davidson's absolutely a team and a, a program you don't, you don't schedule. You stay away from Bob because one of the best coaches in the country, period. The end. They shoot the three, they're veteran, they bring everybody back. It'll be a, it would be a, it's going to be a great challenge for us. And then, of course, we go to South Alabama one week from tonight, and there are still about 1,000 tickets available. So our Auburn fans in L.A., lower Alabama, the reason why I'm going down there to play them is because you guys said if I came down there, you'd buy tickets and come watch us play. There's 1,000 seats still for sale at South Alabama. Yeah, um, they're they're they were quicker at every position, and they were really good driving downhill. Um, and so, uh, guys uh, gave them too many direct line drives, didn't compete to stay in front, um, and as a result, they 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 had their way with us. Um, we are able to do a lot of things defensively to cover up some of those challenges, but not against a smaller, quicker team. We just couldn't disrupt them as much as we normally did. Had to kind of build a wall, guard a yard, and and, and show way more help than I like to show. So, um, but the defense was better in the second half. I don't, I can't remember the last time somebody could tell me we had 21 turnovers. My guess, maybe NC State a year yes, ago. NC State made 25. All right, you know, so there you go. Right on it. Becoming a veteran. <laughs> <laughs> you talked about Samir sort of being a stabilizing force. Samir made plays, not afraid. Uh, in a lot of ways, helped win the ball game for us um, because he makes plays offensively and defensively. Um, it's good to have him on the ball. It's good to have him off the ball. Um, I thought he had great composure and gave us great confidence. Um, tough first game for Javon McCormick because the because the pressure. Team pressed us the whole game, slowed us down, didn't let us get get us into our stuff. I thought we should have done a better job with getting that ball inside. They 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 took a lot of charges in there, flopped a little bit, and um, you know we tr we were trying to post it up on the inside. Look, last year we were a perimeter team. There's no contact out there. Now we're more of an interior team, and it's contact in there, and it just don't call all that stuff. So.
Frustrating. How's that with Javon? Uh, seems like you still kind of stayed in the game and made some big plays late for you guys. It helped. He did. He did. Um, growing a little bit of growing pains. Um, probably felt a little bit more pressure, um, but he was effective getting to the basket. He turned the ball over a little bit early. Got again got disrupted. They they switch almost everything, and that really makes what you do, um, you know, defensively difficult. But he, like you said, he made winning plays down the stretch. Everybody good? Right. Thanks, guys. Yep, thanks.